Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As the whole world is concerned with the coronavirus outbreak, today in this video I am going to share you what precautions are we taking to stop spreading the virus. As you can see, many parts of the world has already been hit with this virus and is still spreading rapidly. Different country governments are working really hard to stop the spreading of this virus to protect the people of their country. As you can see, the cases here in UK has risen up from 798 to 3269 in just one week. So it's really important for us to stop spreading this virus. As a responsible citizens, we should Follow the rules and regulations which are set up by the government for preventing the spreading of virus. So guys, please wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds or you can also use hand sanitizers more frequently. This will help in breaking the chain of spreading viruses or bacteria. And secondly, please avoid all the social gatherings or the public events where large crowd is present. From March 28th, 2020, the government of UK has shut off all the schools and colleges along with the theatres, malls and pubs to stop people gathering in large numbers and advised us to work from home wherever possible. Despite these rules, I still find quite a people coming out of their homes, taking the kids to the playgrounds or arranging play dates for the kids. So please guys, let's stay at home and let's support our medical and social care workers who are really working hard in front line with emergency cases. You can find more information about this COVID-19, the symptoms and the severity, how it goes on the National Health Service website that is the NHS website or the government website which is called as gov.uk. You can self-assess the symptoms according to the NHS website or at any point if you think the symptoms worsen, you can call 111 or 999 for the ambulance service for more medical help. To be more aware of the cases increasing day by day, you can search in Google current coronavirus cases in my local area and it shows a website where you can enter the postcode and it shows how many cases which have been detected in that area. Even in India, the cases are increasing quickly. So please guys follow the instructions set by the Indian government where you can find more information on india.gov.in and also check on Google about the cases increasing in the local states or the area where you live in. Keep yourself updated as you can protect yourself as well as the people whom you love better. Now coming to the panic buying, most of the supermarkets have empty aisles without any basic stuff available. People are stockpiling with stuff which lasts for more than 6 months, leaving the vulnerables and the people who are needing the basic stuff immediately. So please, please don't do those things and have a balanced equation while stockpiling and also please consider to think about others. The government and the supermarkets are working together to make sure that we haven't got any shortage of food at any point of time. So don't panic and store the stuff excessively. Here I'm sharing how I prepared for the pandemic. My family consists of three people, two adults and one child. So I have prepared mostly according to what we eat. We eat rice mostly so I have a 10 kilos bag of sona masuri rice and lentils as you can see the packets which are more than half i didn't buy any new ones for that but the packets which are lentils which are about to finish i bought the new ones to replace them after they finished the kala chena packet here it's about to finish so i got a new one to use it after it gets finished 
and here the moong dal is about to finish and i didn't get another one because it was completely out of stock but i think i'm reusing other lentils so it should be fine two canned chickpeas and one canned corn all this dry stuff will last up to one month to be honest more than one month but fresh vegetables and fruits i'm stocking up to one week only as they won't last more than that to refill the fresh produce only one person from the family are going out keeping my child at home safe or you can also order online for click and collect service or home delivery make sure to plan well ahead as these services have high demand currently lastly we completely stopped eating outside for safety reasons and started having more home cooked food as nothing can beat it you can find few recipes on my channel which are easy and quick to prepare I strongly advise everyone to have more home cooked food as it's safe and healthy especially during this time and I will be uploading more recipes on this channel so please be subscribed to my channel so let's stay home let's stay strong and let's beat the coronavirus by washing our hands and disinfecting the surfaces and practicing social distancing i hope today's video was informative thank you so much for watching see you all in another video until then bye